You know what this means. Yeah, we should really, we should really think this through. <laughs> Thank you, friend. No. Not only did you eat the last cookie on Earth, but you left saliva on my ring finger and middle finger. I'm disease free. All right. Uh. Oh, you want you some serious? sort of wet n nap or something? <laughs> That's a dry nap. Is there any like an antibacterial or something? Rowling. Wow. This is... Rawr. I know this hand's gonna go in my mouth at some point today, <laughs> and I'd like to know that yours hadn't just been there. Wow, he's going antibacterial on me. Wow, that's very. That's, this will work. It's a little disappointing. Welcome to Good Mythical More. It's, yeah, okay, Mister. I'm abandoning you for first class. I mean, me wiping your saliva off my fingers is is not in the same would ballpark. You, you, you would have done the same thing, man, if you were as big as me. <laughs> um, <laughs> well, well, we actually have been in first class once before. You forgot about it. I was going to mention it, but I didn't want to derail you. Uh, when we won those. Tickets to the Grammys. Oh, that was first class. We or we business got class. We got um, first class there and back. The thing I've never done is the first class where you have the little seat that's like forirty five degrees and it's like a bed. Thank you. That's I'm, I've I've only it been laid on back one all time. the way though. The first class we were on, it laid all the way back like the seat. Right, but it but it, you wasn't like a little cubby. I mean, it right. was better than what I normally experience. But it didn't look like a train, and it didn't cost twenty thousand um, dollars. Monopoly. So um, I played Monopoly for the first time uh, this past weekend. It it actually it rained in Los Angeles, which is very unusual, and and we, nobody looks at the weather around here, so nobody knew it was going to rain. It's just all of a sudden it right. was raining. And so we were like, well, we got to figure out what you do inside. Did I guess you, you own, play games? You owned Monopoly and you'd never played it. Uh, I, I can say that I have been on the. I've always, I've seen people playing. My my family was not a game playing family, and then it, other families that I knew that were game playing families, they didn't play Monopoly because it takes forever to play Monopoly. I've never played Monopoly, and, and, it, and it's. Um, you know, it's not a simple game. It has there's 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 lots of rules. I mean, once you get it, you got it, and, and it makes sense. But it's just you I, you could probably pretty easily go and for a while and not play Monopoly. But somebody had given us this, and the kids had played it with my wife before, so they all knew how to play. And this is the one where you know the old school Monopoly, there was money, Monopoly yeah. money, and now it's a bank in a it's an e calculator. It's a calculator. And so there's like an e-banking system and you each have debit cards. Really? And so every player has a card and you stick it in there and it tell you everybody starts with 15 million bucks and then wow. th <laughs> things, things cost a lot of money though. So you quickly run out, if you're me, you quickly run out of that 15 million. Be buying that Singapore flight uh, right off the bat. But the thing that uh, I discovered is that the, the, you know, at any point in the game, you can negotiate and you can buy things from each other and you can trade different properties. Now, first of all, having a 10 year old who is the banker complicates things a little bit because he gets a little bit uh, overwhelmed at times, but he wouldn't let me bank. He lock wanted to do it. And he's constantly being frustrated by the six year old Shepard who um, cannot not move. You know what I'm saying? He plays a game, and every time you look over there, he either has a house in his mouth, or that one of the it's like, oh, it's time to spin the dice. One of them is in Shepard's mouth. Let's get it out of Shepard's mouth. And and he's six years old, but you know, he's just he's that's who he is. Sounds like a dog. Yeah, he's a lot like a dog. We we treat him like a dog, um, <laughs> and that he just kind of comes and goes as he ple pleases, and we feed him when he's hungry, and you know, you put a pallet down at the foot of your bed, and he curls up, does whatever he wants. So, pallet, um, dog bed. He uh Do they still have jail? Yeah, yeah. It, the board is exactly the same as okay. it's always been. It's just the bank is now different. Go directly to jail. Do not pass go. So, so you know a little bit about this. Well, that's you know common knowledge. But the thing is is that there is this negotiation process that starts happening. And in the mind of a six year old who likes to put dice in his mouth, this is the way that works. <laughs> it's just like, okay, Shepard, um, I wanna buy Pennsylvania Avenue from you. Hmm. And you know, and Jesse's like, "Now, Shepard, you paid two point five million dollars for that." And he's like, $10 million. <laughs> it's like, like nobody has that much money." 
He's and then and then we well, he went in the right direction at least. <laughs> and then there's this thing happening where uh, my wife and my son are bidding against one another on something that I'm selling, and they're going back like auctioning like one over the other. They're going up like 1.2 million, 1.3 million, 1.4 million, 1.5 million, and Shepard's like 5.4 million. <laughs> <laughs> it's like now. You would think that this haphazard way of playing and keeping the dice in your mouth would not be effective. But what we discovered is that we, first of all, we had to stop the game twice and take pictures of the board because it takes forever. But I was like, we're so invested at this oh, point. And then clean it up and put it away. And then well, we took a picture and then we left it in place and then we played later on in the day. But then when we finished playing, uh, at the end, we took a picture and we and then we I took a note of where everybody's current point values were and, I, and I'll just read them off to you. Keep in mind, this is me. I, I, I'm, a, I'm an adult. I consider myself relatively intelligent. And this is a six year old and a 10 year old. So you were, and, and Jesse were, were playing sincerely. You were playing hard. Yeah, yeah. So okay. this is where we stand currently. Locke has $1.82 million. Mm, pretty good. Mom has $4.2 million. Mm. I have $3.7 million. Mm. Shepard has $15.37 million. <laughs> <laughs> Are you letting him, you're letting him win? No, he's a genius. He bids, he, I, he pays three million more than he needs for things, but then he got, he, he got a street and he was just like, I want hotels, I want houses. And so he, every turn, he would completely expend all of his money on pricing out the street. And then before we knew it, none of us owned streets, and Shepard had three hotels. And then every time we came, he's around, a mogul. We had to pay him five million bucks. He's got the instinct of a mogul. You need I, to harness that. He could be a business savant. Maybe you're the dog. Maybe he should be the CEO of our company. <laughs> Six-year-old CEO. <laughs> He'll be on the front of Business Insider with dice in his mouth. <laughs> High roller. That's what it says at the High moment. roller. Oh man. Dice in his mouth, man. Five point four million. Um, 10 million. I play Concept with my kids, which oh, really? uh, which is the game, spoiler alert, that we played in the, um, I don't know if we're supposed to talk about it yet, but screw it. The um, Screw it. <laughs> what's that show we were on? Tabletop. Tabletop, it just left me. So we're on an epi upcoming episode, I think it's not out yet, of Tabletop, where we play a board game called Concept. And I, since then I've been playing it with the kids. It's basically charades using only icons on a board, not using your body or your your mind really at all. Uh, uh, so we get Lando to play and you draw a card and then you've got to put out the, you know, you got to put all the elements on the board for people to guess what the thing is, what the item is. Is it a person, is it a movie, is right. it a thing, whatever. It's a great game. But the way that Lando plays it, he'll, he'll say, okay, okay. He's like, hurry up, I got something. Hurry up, I got something. And it's like, well, finally it's his turn and he's going, he's putting all the things on the board, but he never draws a card. Right. We just let him choose something. And then, uh, people start guessing. It's like, okay, this is an animal. He's like, and it's blue, orange, and you know, it's all these different colors. And he's like, um, and it's fast. And we're like, what? it's like, is it a peacock? Is it a, a fast it? peacock? It's blue and orange. You don't know any of this stuff. And then, it's, this, and then we're finally like, is it a? So then we just start guessing random stuff like, is it a, is it an aardvark? He's like, no. But you can tell that by the look in his eye, he's really evaluating every guess. It's like, we might be getting close. Is it a, is it a penguin? No, and they're like, is it a flying squirrel? He's like. And what you could tell is that he was just looking for someone to give a cool guess. <laughs> and then it's like, whoever gets the, no, it doesn't matter what the game, what's happening on the board at all. I like the way it's he just, thinks. Whatever's a cool guess, I'm gonna change whatever I wasn't ever thinking of yeah. to that. He doesn't let himself be restricted by the by the cards or the guesses. <laughs> right, or his, yeah. So it basically right. is me completely meaningless. Right, <laughs> it's right. Just, it, it's just, it's right. The, the exercise of the game without any of the objective of the game. We're like, Which Lando, I think you can learn something from like, that. Lando, what, did you decide at the very beginning that it was a flying squirrel or did you decide that once you heard us guess it and you liked it? He was like, B. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? We should invent a game and the rule should be that you, that should be it. It's just a game where you guess 
you, you've got something in your, you don't even have anything in your mind and you just start doing stuff and then when you get a cool answer, you're like, points. It's cause it's called, so it's like chaos. That's what it's called, chaos. It doesn't even have a board. You don't even have to buy it. It doesn't even have a box. It's just called chaos, but now available at redlink.com slash store. Ages zero All ages. to seven. All ages. And parents. Go buy it now. Chaos. Chaos.